Hello there beautiful people, today we're going to play and review Sunset Riders for the Arcade. Let's do this. Welcome back everybody, thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you are tuning in for the very first time, then welcome aboard. And if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button. Stick a comment down below of what you'd like to review in the future for you. And then hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's bring it on. Okay, so Sunset Riders was released back in 1991 by Konami for the arcade. And then a year later, it was released in 1992 for the Sega Mega Drive, I believe. 1993 for the Super Nintendo. And I do think the actual 16-bit consoles did a real good job replicating the arcade version. So, from what I can gather this, you play as a bounty hunter. And each level, you see a most wanted poster. And your job is just to take them out and earn as much money as you can. This game is quite comical at times as well, from what I can remember back in the day. It's a real good run and gun shooter. Reminds me of a Wild West version of Contra. Back in the day. There we go. Come on. It's a stampede. I do believe they had a couple of variants of this in the arcade. They had a two player machine and also a four player, if I remember rightly. Come on. Come on, some of that. Flat Stanley. Come on. Right, now that I've got his cover. The way. It should be quite straightforward. On. Marry me with my money. Bury me with my money. Okay, so that's the first level up the way. Next reward, $20,000. Do. Do you enjoying this so far as much as I am? This really does take me back. Yeah, so he had a choice of four characters, but this Mexican guy was always my favourite. Come on. Oops. Let's hit them wheels out. Graphic wise, it's absolutely spot on. Still just as good today as it was back in the 90s. Please continue. Mind if I do. But yeah, I do remember all this game did actually quite steep difficulty. On the first few levels, game rock solid. 
I've never actually completed this on the arcade. I'd end up just running out of money. Come on. Careful them bullets, they do go out your rather slow when bullets. So. Got another boss now. Nearly got him, nearly got him. Have some of that. That'll do for me, so. Okay, what do I do here? Let's see what my accuracy is like. Very good. Boom. 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 Some of that. Come on. Now she just gave ridiculously fast. No. Oh. You're having a laugh. You're having a laugh. What's to do with this? <laughs> Not great. Not great. Okay. $30,000 bouncy reward for Dark Horse. Yeah. So I admit, I am really impressed with this game. Really enjoying this so far. Yeah. I'm also on Instagram too, so if you've not follow me on there, just search for the Mank Retro Gamer. I'll be posting retro gaming related content on there as well. It's my channel. Slow bullets again. Oh, damn it. Come on. Some of that. I've ever actually got in this game. It's full too soon. Sure, now we're getting to the boss. You in deep, big trouble. Big trouble. Oops. 
Damn it. This guy's solid. Get in there, get in there, come on. Got him. Okay. It's another level out done out of the way. You alright, ma'am? You alright, ma'am? Alright, ma'am. Don't worry. Okay, right guys, I'm going to wrap this up, so I'm just going to leave you my final thoughts and review. So, I've really enjoyed this one, it's a classic run and gun game back in the day. Graphic wise, it's fantastic, uh, the sound play, really good. It is quite difficult. I do think it's one of the games where you do appreciate it more as a co-op. Yeah, so I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. And as I say, it's one of the games that I think I will go back to in the future and play. So, I'm going to leave you now with a review. Hope you enjoyed it. I've been the Mac Retro Gamer. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.